so something came up the other day. I was talking to a, a, a post, I was doing a postgrad check in, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, there's that feeling of, and we all have felt it, where you know, you kind of take something a little too seriously, mm-hmm. whatever it is. I don't care what it is, whatever you're trying to do, maybe it's an audition or a booking or asking a girl out, whatever it is, but you kind of like, ah, it, it gets so serious that you just don't. Like you're not in the flow zone. Yeah. You're not owning it in a way that you could. You're not, right. you're too attached. You're too attached to an end result. And you're just mm-hmm. sort of like, you're not, you're not it, it, where you could be. And so the, the whole thing is of, you know, don't take it too seriously. Mm-hmm. Don't take all of this so seriously. Yeah. It's not, it's, it's you, like any, I think of any job I've ever booked. It's n- like, it's not cause I like wrung the towel out as hard as I could to get mm-hmm. all the, whatever was in that towel to get the read the way it just, I just kind of went, well, I'm does it and I said, right. do. and I didn't take it too seriously. I just kind of did it. And, and I just think in general, we, we have to remember that. Cause it's, I don't know. It's I I'm plagued by it. I, I get into like, well, if I just work hard enough and take it really seriously, then that will help. Right. But it's like in tennis, it's, it's like holding, it's playfulness, like holding on to the tennis racket too hard. Yeah. I, I do play a lot of oh, tennis. Yeah. It's like you hold the grip too tight and it's like you're not hitting the ball with the same ease. Okay, so I'm somebody on the other side listening to that. And I go, how do you unwind? How do you not take it seriously? Do you know what I mean? I I, I got to ask you why you would be taking it too seriously. Right, because I want to get the job and I'm like all like I want to succeed. So when in your life after wanting something so badly and working so hard and overly too hard to get it, has something fallen in your lap? Um, not often. Yeah. No, like, I guess my question is like, if, and I get that you're totally right. Like, how do you not take it seriously? But if I'm that person who gets wound up, like, what do you do as an individual to unwind? I would get, I would get super playful with it. And I would just get into like, you know, what if it didn't matter? Yes, I'm rolling right now, but let me just try some takes where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm so not submitting these takes, but I'm just kind of like, I'm just going to try some stuff. I'm just going to kind of get silly and I'm just going to feel that energy of like what that feels like. And then once you kind of get into that energetic zone, then you can start going, oh, that's where Mm -hmm. the read is. Mm -hmm. Because once you find your energetic through line, it's like downhill skiing. Once you kind of find your through line, you know where your turns are. You look down an entire hill and you go, okay, that's what I'm going to hear. And you sort of know where you're going that that's all it is for me when i when i understand the energetic and emotional through line of what the spot is then i can just go and do multiple takes in that and then i find my read yeah right listen i'm a victim of that all the time and i and that's why i asked you because i mean for me i i try to i try to go in a silly place because i get all wound Mm. up trying to get the read yeah i'm like i do it as a like i do as a crazy character or something yeah like a character detour or whatever Yeah, yeah 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 I just think it's like everything about you tightens up. Your voice tightens mm-hmm. up. You don't like your whole body tightens up, which totally impacts your sound and your yeah. energy and the, and the sound of your voice mm-hmm. and, and your delivery and everything. So if you can just kind of be like, like when you're playful and loose, that's when it's all kind of just flows out of you yeah. without attachment. Yeah. And when people hear that, they go, so it's just, it's, it's the don't take it too serious. And even when it's like, you know, we've all had sessions where it's like, it can feel serious. It's like oh, the yeah. first six takes of like a very long campaign session. And you're like, okay, here we go. Got, uh, got to get these clients feeling good about these reads. Cause, uh, you know, I <laughs> don't want them to go and we're good moving mm-hmm. on to another talent. Yeah. Cause it's the first time you've done it or whatever. So j- don't take it too seriously. Just be like, all right, I'm here's how about this? Like they're people. I remember being in a session where it was like clearly not going my way. They were like, oh, can you read like the guy we almost hired? And it was crazy. Like, and nobody was happy. And, it, and I got, and fortunately it was later, this is only years ago. And I was like, well, you know, if, if, if I'm not the person that they want, no problem. Yeah. And I just relaxed and I was like, and I said, I was like, it, you know, if, you, if my read's not working, that's okay with me. I actually said that out loud. And it loosened mm. the room and it gave opportunity for change. Yeah. And the director of the studio was there and he's like, you know what? Why don't you try it like a promo? And I did that and everybody loved it. Oh, that's that cool. So weird, right? Because like I would I just let it go. That's good. Like, no attachment. 
Yeah, and it freed it freed up the energy. There was yeah. sort of like everyone was just like dish, 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 yeah, dish. trying to get it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I just I don't know. I just feel like that's we're just trying to get into flow states. That that's the most important mm-hmm. place to that we're just trying to get into. Find the flow, and it's hard on your own. That's yeah. what makes voiceover tough. Yeah. So you yeah. got to find the way. Yeah.